what's going on guys, Kaivox here, and welcome to a new, new Wands Day. It's like the end of January, 2019. It's, it's just, it's been such a beautiful year, right? It's been such a, a good, wonderful, short year so far, and we're barely into it. And we have six, one, two, three, seven, seven, six. I lied. <laughs> six new wands and I'm pretty excited about them. I hope you guys are too. These are gonna be on the experimental side. Some of them, um, a few of them are a little bit more classic, traditional, regular style wands. So hopefully there's a little bit of everything here, a little bit for everybody. Let me know at the end of this video, um, which one you guys think is the best? Which one, which one is your favorite? The point of these videos are for me to show you guys some new wands that I made and to possibly help trigger some ideas for my fellow wand makers out there that are also trying to make wands and do cool stuff like that. So hopefully one of these, you know, hopefully one of these you guys like and, and it's fun and you guys enjoy this video. If y'all are regulars here, you will know that um, on Fridays during the live stream, I sometimes show you guys a little peek of the wands that are coming up. So. I did show them all off in the previous live stream, but you know, just kind of from far away, you guys didn't get any nice close up looks of them. So here comes the looks. <laughs> so here is the first one that I want to show you guys. And this one is made out of black palm and mahogany. The goal behind this one is to make it look like it was, it was lost at sea and it was, it's been underwater for a while or just, hidden away somewhere. So I added a little bit of like some greens in there um, to just kind of give it that more, almost like it has a little bit of mold in it. Like just make it look ancient and and like it was found, like it's a it's an old found wand. And as you can see, it has somewhat of, a, of an arc to it. So it, it kind of has a high spot right here and it kind of dips back down. It's, it's hard to explain. Obviously it has a, a nice spiral, um, but it, what I try to do this spiral is I tried to make it have some nice flats on it. So it looks more, a little bit more organic and less just, you know, perfectly machined. Um, also this little bit of a wrap here. And then we have some, uh, some little small nails to hold the wrap. It's glued in there anyway. It's not going to come loose unless you were to cut it or something like that. There are some little cracks that, that are on this that, um, that go down. This piece of mahogany, I would say probably goes in about that far right there. I didn't want to go too far because I did want to cut these in a little bit further. So I didn't want to have a, have that piece of wood going all the way in. So it is somewhat on the, the fragile side. Obviously it's not going to bend very much without snapping because there isn't all too much meat here. But I would say that this one is definitely a darker wand or a lost wand and that was the that was kind of the goal behind it. it was it's almost like the, the lost wand and that's why it looks so old and beat up and classic fun fact about this guy is that i've actually been sitting on this wand for um like three months now four months now i, I may have shown it to you guys a while back as a work in progress and um yeah, I've made some little changes to it and I think it looks good now. It's ready for the shop. I've mentioned this before in a previous video. I usually, if I start working on something and, and I don't really like it, I'll just I'll just sit on it and wait and let it, let it percolate and get ready for the final presentation and, and yeah. Also, this guy is 14 and three quarter inches long and uh, it's on the longer side. Definitely, um, you know, it, I don't know, it's a pretty cool one. It's just, like I said, if, if you're looking for a dark, kind of like evilly, wizardy looking wand, I would say that some of these are kind of wizardy, darky, you know, death eatery looking. I would say this one is the second most death eatery for today. This next one was uh, was cool. I've never worked with red oak before. This is red oak, um, and I was I was pretty pleasantly surprised with the the material and um, how how it was to work with. So I would say red oak is a a pretty good wood to work with if you can uh, if you can find some blanks of it. Surprisingly, this wand ended up looking a lot more like a version of Newt's wand than I originally anticipated just by accident. I didn't even realize it until one of my patrons um, pointed out that it looked like Newt's wand when he, he did his ear thing in the movie where he's listening. 
does kind of look like that. And then it also has a little bit of the silver on the inside, like his supposed to be mother of pearl, blah, 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 whatever. You don't have to explain it to me, I know, okay? There's a couple of fun things about this guy right here. So there's all these little cutouts here, right? All these little grooves that I tried to put in there. I tried to kind of, I was kind of inspired by like a, like a flower, but a, like a one petaled flower. Um, but you could see all of the little grooves cut out. And then inside the grooves, there's actually, there's different colors. So um, some of them are green, blue, red, orange, yellow. So I kind of just inserted that, those colors into some of those grooves. And then the rest of it is this dark kind of gunmetal y gray color. I would say it's kind of gunmetal y, sparkly, gunmetal, gray. Um, and then we also bring some of that gray and, and silvery colors into the actual handle here. I think this wand looks pretty cool. It's definitely a little bit more um, flamboyanty. It's very colorful. Um, I, if you guys know me at all, I try to keep my wands pretty kind of neutral and I try to not make them too gaudy. I would say this one's a little bit on the, the gaudier side just because of all of the uh, all the silver and colors in there. I think it looks really cool. Um, it's definitely a little bit weird to hold. I would probably, I would probably hold it like this just because it's uh, possibly like this because it does kind of fit into your hand because it has this little flat here. You could obviously hold it like this. I wouldn't recommend it because it just looks kind of dumb. But um, I mean, some, you know, some people hold their wands like this. So as you can see, this uh, this crack kind of goes all the way through there. The actual uh, hole here kind of goes in a little bit further. It, I would say, yeah, it goes about to right about there is where this cutout goes all the way through. I think this red oak looks really good. Um, I think that the grain here on the back, you can actually still see the, the wood grain. And then obviously on the inside, it's like the fake grain that I made for it. Um, it's a nice wand. And this puppy is gonna come in at uh, 15 and a quarter inches long. One of the longer ones, definitely. Um, I've been kind of leaning towards, I mix it up, you know? But usually I try to keep it above 11 inches and below 15. This one just kind of, slipped on by a little bit longer than uh, than it originally was planned, but I think it looks good. The reason I kept it so long is because this was gonna be so big that if I made this wand like this long, it would just look so fat and it, it wouldn't, the ratio wouldn't look as good. That's, that, that, that was my thought process. That's what I was thinking when I was making this is that I have to make it longer because I want the handle to be a little bit on the fatter side. I've mentioned that before, but I think that that's a, that's a good thing to think about when you're um, when you're trying to design something and you want it you want the handle to be a little bit fatter you have to kind of think about the length of it now this next one this is the one that I was talking about that I would say is probably the most death eatery it's definitely one of the most delicate wands that I've made it's definitely not for swinging around and playing around and if you plan on picking it up please <laughs> realize that it's, it's, a, it's a display item. It's something that you wanna show off, pick it up, show your friends and stuff like that. But it's not gonna be something that you're gonna wanna go, I don't know, punch people with. I don't know what people do with wands when they buy them. Here it is. It's made out of uh, walnut, dark walnut, obviously. And um, I really like how it came out. It, this almost looks like, it, like an ant hill or something like that, but like, you know, cut and you could see all the little tunnels and stuff in there. And this is what I'm talking about. It is very fragile. I would say that this spot and this spot right here are probably the weakest points of the wand, but it just looks so cool. Obviously, if it was made out of resin or something like that, it would be a little bit stronger, but it, it isn't. It is made out of wood, so it's, it's fairly fragile, but I think it's just one of those wands that just looks super cool. I would say you could hold it traditionally where you hold it here, or you could, you know, do more of a, uh, Eleganty uh, composer style. I definitely love how this uh, this wand came out. It's pretty much exactly how I designed it, and I kind of wanted to make it look like just very, very organic. That's why I kept the all of the carvings. And originally, I was just gonna do the the cutouts, and I wasn't actually gonna connect from one to the other, but. I, I did one and I was like, uh, that's just, this is what I gotta do. This is what we, this is this is what we have to do. And I think it's gonna come out really good. 
And like I said, the only downside to this wand is that it is a little bit more fragile than a traditional big, thick, heavy wand. So it's not for everyone, but it definitely, I think it definitely looks like very interesting. And I think it, it'll, it'll turn some heads. You know, you carry this guy around and you're like, Look at me, mm, I got a fancy wand. People are gonna be like. <laughs> this next wand, I imagine uh, a musician having it. Somebody that's in tune with their, their musical side or creates music in some way. Um, because it is 100% inspired by a, a violin uh, head or arm. Well, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a musician, so I don't know, okay? But um, this is, pretty much a the end of a violin and i just added these three little lines here for um yeah i don't know just to add a little bit like it's like the uh i don't i'm not an, i'm not a musician i don't know what those things are called on a guitar or violin or a, a cello i don't even know if they're the same thing okay if they're called the same thing but obviously this is supposed to be like a violin e -e -o -o -e -a -a right? Whatever violin noises. Shut up. All right. I don't know what they're called. I added in um, this burning just to, I don't know why I added in the burning. I thought that the, um, the maple, cause this is maple and this is made out of mahogany. The maple was just a little bit too bland and there was a lot of end grain and the end grain didn't look that great on it. So um, I added in the burning just to give it a little bit more character and uh, just to, I, I filled in this whole part right here. It's all burnt and painted a little bit. Um, and then we have these little these little notches here. So th here's the funny thing about this wand is that it does have a lot going on. It does have obviously the the center piece right here that is the pommel. And then we have the uh, this other part of the handle right here that has all these little flats on it. And obviously they're you know, a little bit different color. And then we have the transition between the mahogany and the maple. I think it's definitely a really cool, interesting wand. It You hold it like this pretty much. Um, you can hold it whatever way you want. If you end up buying this wand, it's your wand. You hold it whatever way you want. You could hold it at the end if you want. Obviously this is a uh, super long wand as well. Um, again, because this is so big here, if I made this wand shorter, it just would look stubby and weird. Usually when you see longer wands of mine, it'll be because the, the handle is bigger. I thought about adding a few things into these holes here but then it was just gonna be too much. Um, it was gonna be too busy, too much going on, and there's already a lot going on in this wand. It is not a simple design. It is definitely, I would I would say it's on the verge of being kind of elegant-y because of the spiral and you know the, the design here for the violin head, but I really hope that a musician picks this up and possibly a violinist would be really cool. So if you are one, let me know. Just so you guys know, we do get a lot of our ideas for videos and or just other random things from you guys. So if you guys do have any ideas for future videos, leave them down below. We do read all the comments. So, you know, feel free. Let us know whatever you wanna let us know. And also I do a wand review video. So if you wanna submit your creations or your drawings to newwandsday at gmail.com, feel free. No guarantee that it's gonna be the next video because I do have a lot of backlog to go through, but most likely I will eventually go through it unless it is really bad, and then I won't. And now for the second to last wand, we only got two wands left, guys, so we're almost, we're almost there, we almost made it. This guy. Obviously this is made out of Purple Heart. Um, if you guys don't know, Purple Heart is actually purple wood and it looks beautiful. This right here, I like how it came out almost like a rose gold. Um, it's actually copper. So, you know, it, it's copper, just so you guys know. But it does look a little rose gold. I think it looks gorgeous the way it is. Um, I added in those little bit of, uh, that little bit of that black on there just to kind of make it look a little bit more Give it a little bit more character, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I was gonna polish it and make it super shiny, and and but then it wasn't gonna look as as unique and as different. This is a somewhat simple designed wand, um, two pieces. So the the purple heart doesn't actually go all the way through. That would be impossible to to get the purple heart to go from here to here without. With, and then sliding this over it, it you, you can't you can't do that. And then obviously we have the the copper insert there on the handle. I think that looks 
awesome. I think this is a great wand. You can actually hang it on something. If you have like just like a little nail, you could just hang it on there and then grab your wand when you're ready to go. So the way I made this is I took this piece and this piece, made them separately, and then took a piece of copper, cut it to size, whatever size I wanted, and then, um, and then inserted them, glued it all together. Same thing with this piece, cut that piece of copper, inserted it, sanded it down, the end. Pretty simple design, but <laughs> how many times I failed with this piece right here. So it, I finally got it the way I wanted it. There is some burning, so this whole section here is pretty much black. And the same thing with this, this whole section here is pretty much black because it is actually burned. And then this is also burnt going up probably about halfway, kind of, um, it kind of fades into not being burnt and then the end is a lot more purpley. And then the same thing here, this end is a little bit more purple um, because it's, you know, not as burnt. This is probably the most uh, conventional style wand that I have out of this batch. Yeah, I would say this is the most conventional. I think it looks really cool. I love the tubing on the, on the handle here. I think this looks really cool. Um, also, the blade itself um, is a little bit squared off. So it has um, these flat runs that go all the way down it, as opposed to just making it a perfect cylinder. You guys know me. I don't like to just keep everything the same. You can also see there's a few little cracks, nooks and crannies right there from the burning. And uh, that's just naturally naturally happens when you when you burn wood it kind of cracks a little bit i love this wand i think i almost thought about keeping this one for myself for 2019 but i i i want to start that wand making it for myself and then finishing it for myself i don't want it to be a wand that i'm making for everybody else and then at the end of it decide like hey i'm gonna just keep this one i want it to be extra special the length for this wand is 13 and a quarter inches. So it's, uh, I think that this is like the perfect size, at least for me as, as a six foot, six foot one, six foot nothing person. Um, I think that 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half, maybe 14 is like the perfect size. I know that length is not based on your size. It is based on um, your personality. So it, it's, I, I understand. So. <laughs> Just stop commenting, all right? Just come back, come back to the video. I know you don't have to teach me about wands, all right? Pump the brakes. And now for the last one. Um, I'm gonna just tell you guys now, this was by far the hardest wand that I made just because it was hard to figure out how to make it fit together. And here it is. Um, this is made out of some red acrylic with a little bit of paint and black in there. Um, and then obviously we have this beautiful leopard wood here. I just, leopard wood just looks so good. It's so, it's really cool too. There, it looks like it has like some little faces on here. Like that guy screaming and that guy right there looking like extra evil. Just the grain in the wood just looks super cool. It just has like some crazy faces on them. Again, like we got another like screaming guy right there. He's like, ah! So the idea behind this was to make it look like these are almost like tentacles or like, uh, I mean, I know there's only four, so it can't be like an octopus or something like that, but it's supposed to be like kind of organic and look like it's coming up and just holding on to this gem, some, some sort of power thing. I don't know, but that was the idea. I wanted it to make it look like it was, it was holding it, like almost like it was twisting around. And the original inspiration for this part of the wand here was actually um, Gandalf's uh, like staff, cause it kind of twists and like curves around. And I was like, oh, I kind of like how that looks. So I started doing that and I was like, what if I put like uh, some sort of gem in there? And remember in my previous wand review video, I did mention that a lot of people have the idea for having a gem at the end of a wand. I think I did a decent job of thinking outside the box a little bit so it doesn't look like every other one. And the point of this right here, it's kind of dirty and made it look, obviously I don't like making my wands look brand new, okay? I like making my wands look like they've been used and you know, stuff like that. And obviously if you're gonna infuse a magic, some sort of magic stone into wood, it's, there's gonna be some sort of resistance there a little bit, right? Or at least in my, my case, there was a little bit of resistance. So we had to use a, a little bit of resistance to, uh, to get it to fit. And that's why it got all burnt and stuff because we had to heat up the, the stone and then we had to heat up the wood and then we had to cast a couple spells to get it to actually like, you know, mesh together because the stone was not taken to the wood and therefore 
causing some problems, but we finally stabilized it. So we were able to, to stop the degradation of the wood with um, the gem. So therefore, this thing should last a while, you know? And it's a nice pommel heavy, right, wand. The thing that sucks about wands is that most of the designs are usually on the handle to the, to the guard, a little bit on the blade most of the time, but it's mostly focused in this area. I would say that, what, 90% of wands have mostly focused designs on the handle. And guess what? We hold it on the handle. Hand. Oh. It takes away from the from the actual design, right? Whenever you're using it. Here's another cool thing about this wand is that it does uh, stand up. Yeah. So I love that. I love the fact that you can display it like that. I think it looks super cool if you wanted to. Something that I may have not mentioned is that there are these little flats here on these on the gem side of it. And what ended up happening there, the reason I put those in is so that when I inserted it, the the actual um, tentacles from the from the wand handle were able to sit flat on it and it looks good. It looks like it's holding it. That was the idea behind that. I do have future ideas for some other um, acrylic wands. So I'm hoping that those come out. Also, I didn't make this super shiny. I kept it at a, um, a like a flat, look so that it's a little, it's translucent, but it's not like transparent. You can't perfectly see through it, right? Obviously if it was red, it would never be transparent. It would be translucent still, but it's a little bit more of a hazy look to it. I think it came out pretty good. So here you have it guys. Um, this uh, wraps it up for this new Wands Day. Remember these are all up on the shop right now. And if you go to the shop and there are no wands on there, there will be more coming out soon. I make one wand at a time. And once that wand is made, that is the only version of that wand that I will ever make. So if you find a wand that you really like from me, there may be one in the future that is similar, has some similar characteristics, but th that same wand will never be made again. So that's the special thing about my wands is that is that I may eventually come out with a line where it's simpler wands, but I don't know if I really wanna do that. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see something like that. Maybe I'll make some simpler wands. They'll be like half the price. Like I said, I don't really wanna do that because I don't wanna take time away from making wands like these. But if there is enough interest in it, I, it is a possibility and I may, I may do it. Let me know which one was your favorite and um, why. why. Why did you like it? Because I like to know what you guys like about certain things so that I could focus on making more wands similar to, to what you guys end up liking. And remember, if you want to submit your wands to New Wands Day, newwandsday.gmail.com. Just send them over there. There's a couple rules down below, so follow those rules. You guys tend to not follow the rules. They're pretty simple. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>